I'm Terry Connor, Superintendent of Sarasota County Schools. I'm taking on an initiative where I go out and shadow different job responsibilities throughout our district. I've had the great opportunity today to go out and shadow one of our fantastic bus drivers. Mike Quinn's been with us for a few years and we not only got to go out on a school bus and do our routes, but we got to do it on our first maiden voyage of one of our electric buses, which we'll talk a little bit about today. So first off, Mike, thanks for being here. Tell us a little bit about yourself. What brought you to Sarasota County and what specifically brought you to be a bus driver here? Like everybody else, we were drawn to Sarasota County for the beaches and the weather, but really the school system is something that drew me. My wife, being an educator, really did a lot of research into the areas we wanted to move and found out that Sarasota County just had an excellent school system, and it's where we wanted our kids to grow up and go to school. You know, I was up in the air what I wanted to do when we moved here, and my wife's like, why don't you try driving a bus? You know, you like being around kids, you like operating large equipment. So I tried it out, I trained here, and I've loved it ever since. What would you say is the most challenging part of the job? I mean, it's, it's challenging managing 40 to 50 kids at a time, you know? Yeah. Like I said, you know, it's, it's K through eight on a bus, so it's, it's all different issues with all different age groups, you know? Yeah. So it's, it's pretty giant also, also trying to pay attention to the drive at the same time. So I know this morning we were here bright and early, yeah. uh, about six o'clock. Walk us through your morning route and how that transpires. Yeah, it's an early day. We, we're up before the sun, so we get here around six o'clock and you know, we walk out to our bus and the main thing is the safety check. We're gonna check all the lights. So we test our amber lights, make sure they're going. We walk to the back, check out the emergency door. Right, make sure that alarm goes off. You want to give a visual check of the tires, make sure there's no air leakage out of anyone. You always look under the bus, make sure there's no fluids under it, and uh, check it really everything. Make sure there's no safety issues with that. And then we're ready to roll at that point. So you got GPS here. Yeah, this keeps track of everything the students they get on. Well, that's new, you know, when I think about my experiences as a student on the bus, we didn't have GPS. And, and then the other thing is the fact that our students having to scan in their IDs to make sure that we know uh, they're on the bus and when they get off the bus. Yeah, that is so helpful because it's tough. I mean, I, I drive upwards of 100 kids a day sometimes from different schools. So, I mean, that really helps with that. You see the kids' face, you see them punching from the beginning, helps you learn their names real quick and see who the children are. And also it helps us track them. So like if, if there's a kid that has a question he might have got off the wrong stop, we could see exactly the stop he got on, the stop he got off with time. So it really has been a lot helpful. I can tell you as a parent myself of students who ride the bus, it really does give you some peace of mind and being able to track that through an app at any given moment, I think is, is, is great. Y'all realize y'all are riding on an electric bus today, right? You guys are the first students. Dude. You're the first kids riding on, on an electric bus in the district. I talked earlier about our first maiden voyage of our electric school buses. What's so different between a normal bus and one of our electric buses? It was really, the drivability is almost the same as like driving a diesel powered bus. The only thing I noticed was the, the quiet, the noise level that we experienced, which is a nice thing. You know, we'll be able to hear the kids and everything that's going on on the bus, because it can be challenging sometimes with the noise of the engine, the kids, the radio, so that's definitely gonna help a lot. And I mean, the one thing I noticed is how smooth the acceleration of the ride is. It was, it was really pleasant to drive around. So Mike, what would you consider some of the perks of the job? I have to say, I mean, I love the time off. It's great. I mean, you can't put a price on having all those holidays off with the family and being able to spend all that time with the kids. And the pay and the benefits are great. I mean, it doesn't get better. What do you get up each day looking forward to in your job as a bus driver? You know, I really enjoy meeting so many different kids of all different age groups, all different walks of life. And, you know, being out after school, seeing them around the neighborhood and seeing how excited they are. Oh, that's Mr. Mike. And, and they're all very happy to see you. And it really is a rewarding thing, a rewarding experience. Well, Mike, I want to thank you for what you do. It's, a, it's an extremely important job. I always say you're really one of the first people that our students get to interact with. You're the, one of the first faces they get to see. Yeah. And so having people like you that come with such a great positive attitude really sets the tone for our students who we get to serve each and every day. And so thank you for that. It's been a wonderful experience to get to know what it is, the day in and day out challenges of our bus drivers. And I can't wait to experience more job shadowing throughout our district as we move ahead 